Welcome everyone. Today I'd like to take you through another journey. There's been this being that I've been trying to understand, but it keeps escaping me. This entity is a creature as old as time itself. Nobody knows how this creature came to be. This being is invisible yet in plain sight. Over the millennia, various cultures have tried to describe this phenom. The earliest mention of this creature is in ancient Irish Celtic mythology, which leads me to believe that Ireland was the original birthplace of this entity. First described as an Aosai, or creature of the mound, these beings are known to be very protective and can appear in a form of either a beautiful or a grotesque creature. Soon it started growing weary of the Irish and started making its way across mainland Britain. Here it encountered a boy named J.R.R. R. Tolkien. It revealed itself to the young boy in a very specific form and had a large impact on his writings. This being did not stop in England and has been hard to locate due to its elusive nature. From England, the next reported encounter with the creature was seen in Belgium. Young Pierre Culliford was the man's name. He fashioned the likeness of this creature into his art and then disappeared, never to be seen again until one day i read a new story a funny little fish dating back over a million years was discovered in the country of india finally a place to start tracking this entity unfortunately given the political tensions i shied away from a personal visit but where else could i go further to investigate this phenomena then it hit me there was a residency program in New England known to host a large number of Indian residents, perhaps the biggest population of Indians outside of actual India. I went to medical school with the hopes of getting into residency and picking up the trail of this phenom. I lost myself in the program. I met wonderful people and had soon forgotten about the Aosai creature, but it had not forgotten about me. Without me knowing, I had encountered this little being and it had touched me. As soon as it did, it disappeared, never to be seen again, playing games and staying out of sight. I set out to capture it again, but it was slippery. It would no longer show itself to me, but in glimpses, taunting me. Baines! Baines! Is that you? Stop it. Stop eating garbage, Baines. Baines, we can get you food. But whom can loan you money? Baines, stop. Shazad has Bitcoin. Baines, stop eating garbage. Stop it. Frustrated, I tried luring it out after doing hours of research of ways Others had tried luring out the creature from its nest. This for sure had to work. I knew this creature's weakness. Outmaneuvered, I had but one chance. I took a bounty out on his head. There was only one hunter to answer the call. And he won't stop until the job is done. He's coming for you.